Okay, so in this video we'll make the ball bounce off the walls and bounce off the paddle. So to do this we need to actually modify the behavior of the ball. So let's go to Visual Studio, to the ball script, and we're going to define a new method called onCollisionEnter. So type in onCollision and when you see it, when you see the method, just go down and hit enter. And this method over here is a special method because it will listen for collisions. It will try to detect collisions between the ball and other colliders. So when a collision happens with the ball, that includes the ball, we're going to receive this parameter. This collision over here is going to be the other collider that we collide with. And we can do things with this collision. So every time the ball collides with something else, we can check if that something else is a paddle or a wall. And we can do certain things according to that. So we can say if collision dot game object dot compare tag so here what i'm basically saying what i'm basically saying is if the if the collider of the game object that that collides with the ball has a tag called in this case we're gonna say wall so if the ball collides with a game object whose tag is wall then we want the we want to change the direction of the ball along the y-axis so we want to set the direction of the y equals to minus direction dot y we want the ball to go down if it was going up and we want the ball to go up if it was going down we can say we can also say else if we can check if the collision dot game object dot compare tag is equal to paddle so if we collect with the paddle then we want to change the direction of the ball but not along the y-axis we, we want to change the direction of the ball along the x-axis so direction dot x equals to minus direction dot x like this so now we have to define the tags wall and paddle. So let's go back to the Unity editor and select the right, select any game object that you want. And here in the inspector, you can see that there's a tag field over here. So click here and select add tag. So the list is empty. Let's click the plus icon and let's type in paddle. So we have created a, a paddle tag and now let's click the plus icon again and let's type in wall. So we create a wall tag. Now what we can do is that we can select the top wall, hold shift, select the bottom wall and tag them so click here in the tag field and tag them with the wall tag and now we can select the right paddle and the left paddle and tag them with the paddle tag so now let's for example let's select the right paddle let's move it upwards a little bit like this and now if we hit play the ball should be should bounce off the the uh, and perfect everything's working perfect i didn't say anything but what i what i meant was that the ball should bounce off the walls and it should it should also bounce off the paddles so when it touches, it collides with the walls, it changes the direction along the y-axis. And when it touches the paddle, it changes the direction along the, along the x-axis. So it's just changing direction every time it collides. Perfect. So everything is working fine so far. Um, in the next video, we'll see how to actually move the paddles. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.